Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about breadcrumbing and attention seeking. So let's first get into breadcrumbing. So breadcrumbing is basically when someone is kind of giving you a little bit of hope every now and then so they may be um, messaging you very sporadically so let's say they you really like them obviously but they're um, you know only replying to you maybe like a, it takes a long time basically for them to get back to you and when I say a long time I mean you know probably like about a week I mean I know sometimes it can be less than that if they are breadcrumbing you it depends how you know how they are as an, an individual but if it's if it's like taking them like a week to get back to you and you're not hearing anything else from them and it takes them like a week to respond to you and things like that then I would say that they're definitely breadcrumbing you and it's not just about them being busy um but you know, again, it, it depends. Like if this, it depends how recurrent it is. Like if they're doing that all of the time, they're waiting a week or so before replying to you, and it's taking ages. And you know, then there's no, there's been no in between where you've talked a lot and you've hanged out. Then I would say that they're definitely breadcrumbing you. And usually, what this means is that they like the attention that you're giving them, um, and uh, they're kind of just giving you that little bit of hope here and there so that um, they don't lose you because they like basically getting that ego boost from you, the fact that, that you like them, you're into them, you're messaging them, <clears throat> you may be telling them how much you like them and things like that. So the best response that you can give to someone like this who's a breadcrumber and uh, the way that you tell if they're a breadcrumber is if it's such a long gap between them messaging you, like it's days, like a week, right? Um, then the best thing that you can do really is to just not message them anymore, to just to just not say anything to them, to just give them pure silence. Um, and because and, you don't want someone like that in your life, because obviously if they really liked you, they would be way more enthusiastic about it. They would be um, totally wanting to go out with you. If you ask them out, they'll say yes, they'll be there. You know, if they wanted to be with you, they would do those things. But if they're breadcrumbing you like that, then obviously... It's not going to work out in your favor. They're probably just keeping you around because they want your attention um, to give themselves a bit of an ego boost, you know, to make them feel good about themselves. Perhaps they're a little bit narcissistic. Who knows, right? But all in all, essentially, you don't want to be giving any kind of response to these people, okay? So it sucks when it happens, especially if you really like them um, and you may have only just came across the term breadcrumbing and things like that. Um, so yeah, it can suck. It can hurt. Um, especially if this is, you know, because they've probably drawn this out for a long time, right? So, but you just got to let, let it go now because there's obviously nothing much you can do if this is something that's been happening for a long period of time um, and it hasn't improved and they haven't, you know, acted more serious about you, okay? So let's talk more about attention seekers because attention seekers don't just do breadcrumbing. Attention seekers also do other things as well. And basically attention seekers are people that only want your attention and they like your attention um, but they don't go any further than that they, they don't take the connection that you two guys have to a higher level so for example you ask them out they're a bit flaky about it they may say yes but then back out last minute um, but then a couple of days later they're messaging you again and it kind of repeats itself like that um, it seems like they want the attention that you're giving them, but they don't want anything more. They don't want any romance. You know, when it comes to um, the conclusion of things, they don't want to um, go out with you. They don't want to hang out with you alone. Perhaps they, when they, if you do hang out with them, perhaps they bring a friend or something like that to, you know, stop anything romantic happening. And it's all because they just like your attention. They just like the validation that you are giving them. And they will come back. They will keep on coming back. You, there may be a time when they don't speak to you that much. Let's say like a week or so, or maybe two weeks. And then they'll come back out of the blue when they need some more attention. Or it might be the case if you follow them on social media, it might be the case that they get into a relationship and then they don't talk to you for a while. And then that relationship ends. And then suddenly they you get that, hey, how are you? Because they've just had a breakup and they want to start feeling good about themselves again by you giving them your love, your adoration, whatever it is that you're giving them. Um, so that's basically how you know how you know if you're dealing with an attention seeker. If you know you, they know that you like them, um, and you, and you are you know asking them out. You're asking when when can we hang out? When can we go on a date? 
Um, when are you available for a day? Asking things like that. And they never give you a clear answer. Um, and it basically, it just never happens. You're just never with them alone. You're never making out. You're, you're never on a date with them. You're never doing anything romantic. Just you two alone. Yeah, perhaps when you're going for a kiss, they kind of turn away. They don't want to hug. They don't want any sort of physical contact. They don't want to hold hands. You know, they don't want to take things further in the bedroom, things like that. It's like, they just want your attention, right? Um, and again, it sucks, especially if you're really into them, you really find them attractive, and then they just keep on doing things like this, right? So that's another thing as well, um, you know, it, you know, if, if that person is an attention seeker, okay? So the best response to an attention seeker is also really silence, like when you realize that this is happening to you, and unfortunately, sometimes it can take a bit of time to realize that this is happening to you, you know, like a good few, like probably like a few weeks, you might be able to clock on to what's going on, maybe a month, you might be able to clock on to what's going on, especially if you keep on asking them out, and they keep on rejecting, or they keep on saying, um, uh, oh yeah, I'd love to, but I'm busy, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, or, you know, I've got, to, I've got to go to the hair salon, get my hair washed, you know, things like that. They're giving the, these really, like, really ridiculous excuses that they could easily, conveniently change to a different time, you know. It's like, nah, you're being, you're, with an, you're, you're dealing with an attention seeker, basically. So, again, if that sort of thing, you kind of want to just cut off contact with them. Um, and, you know, another thing you could say as well, I mean, you could give them the ultimatum. Then you could say, look, you know, I want something romantic with you. If you're not into that, then um, get in contact with me if you change your mind about it, right? Um, and then each time they contact you because they want your attention, you've got to throw that back in their lap and say, oh, so have you changed your mind? And then they might give like some sort of wishy-washy excuse or something like that. But basically, if they like you, if they want you and they do change their mind about you, they will get in contact and they will start being more serious with you. But it's very unlikely that that's going to happen with someone who is like this because especially if they've used you for a long time to get the validation that they need to make them feel more secure about themselves. And you, in a way, you know, you, you kind of have to pity them in a bit because that's why they're doing it because because they have such bad insecurity. They feel so rubbish about themselves that they're willing to string along someone um, just to make them feel, who's clearly into them, who just just to make themselves feel better. They're using you as like a... I don't know, like a scratching post. They're like, oh yeah, that makes me feel better. If I just hang out with that person for a little bit because I know they're so into me, they're going to validate how beautiful or how handsome I am. Um, they're going to tell me how much they like me. You know, they're going to ask me out. It's going to make me feel so desirable. And yeah, it, you kind of have to feel sorry for those kinds of people. But just because you feel sorry for them doesn't mean you have to give them the time of day, right? And it's best to give breadcrumbers and people who are just, you know, attention seekers like this, um, silence and just find someone who is actually into you who does actually want to go out with you who does say yes to going out with you who does you know progress the romance you know you know where it leads to kissing where it leads to making out you know where it leads to you know have been more intimate with them and it leads to a relationship down the road as well you, those are the people that you want to hang out with and that you'll know basically if you found one of those kinds of people who does actually want you because they will always be there when you ask them out on a date when you arrange a date with them they're always there they're always on time give or take maybe a few minutes, you know, they, they want to be there, they're enthusiastic, they always say yes, they don't give you wishy-washy answers, they don't come up with excuses, they don't go into other relationships with people and then come back after months, they don't do that sort of thing, right? And they also, they don't breadcrumb you as well, they respond to you in an appropriate amount of time, so, you know, when you first start dating someone, then, you know, a few days, that's sort of okay for someone to respond to you because, you know, you, you don't really have much of a connection yet, but as you start hanging out more and more, the messages will get more frequent, you'll start talking to each other more and more, you want to spend more time with each other, you'll find that you're spending more time with each other, like it may start off where you're just seeing each other once a week, and then it will lead to something where you guys are spending the weekend together, and then it'll come to a point where maybe you're spending a weekend together, and then a day in the week, and then it'll eventually happen where you guys move in together, start seeing each other nearly every day, you know, and things like that, and it'll just progress like that, you'll start to meet their parents, you'll meet their friends, they'll meet your friends, they'll meet your family and parents, things like that, and it'll just progress into that relationship, but again, these sort of things take time, um, but, you know, it's something that you've got to do if you, you know, are living, you know, um, here in the West, and that's just how we do things, so we, we have a courting process. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.